Where's my stuff? Go. Oh, I've been sitting here too long. I don't even want it no more now. Hey y'all, good morning. It is, oh I don't even know, I think it's Wednesday. The 20, it's Wednesday, February 23rd. It is raining, it is 8.47 in the morning. I'm out and about, I have so many errands I need to run this morning. I'm on my way to Publix and I gotta go to a dermatologist appointment. The people are at the house. Uh, removing the carpet so my husband is home with them and then I gotta leave there and go turn in um, this paperwork from my real estate closing yesterday I have a lot to do that's just some of the stuff I gotta do I gotta get the papers notarized <coughs> I got a lot to do and I'm hoping these people um, finish the floor today because the housekeeper is coming tomorrow and I want her to be able to do a sufficient job. Um, I have not eaten or drunk anything today. And it's, it's going to be gonna be a busy day. So right now, and this, the crazy part is that the pharmacy opens at 9. And my dermatology appointment is at 9. So either I'm going to just be late or they're going to have to reschedule me. But luckily that's the only thing that has like a um, time attached to it. Everything else I'm, I get to it when I get to it. But I'm trying to get to it as soon as possible because I don't want to be out all day. And I definitely don't want to be out in this weather. So... I guess stay soon. I don't have too much to say yet. And I'll check back in with y'all. Okay, so I have been to my doctor's appointment, been to Publix, been to turn in the paperwork for my closing. I am making a pit stop to this by because I need to get an adapter so that um, I can switch the footage from my camera to my laptop faster. Stay tuned. Well, scratch that. Best Buy don't open till 11. And it's still 10 something holding me up. So now I'm just gonna zoom over to this other place to get one of my husband's birthday gifts. His birthday is March 2nd, Pisces. Almost our entire family is Pisces. Okay, so Best Buy doesn't open for 10 minutes. I got stuff to do. I don't have time to sit here and wait. So I'm just gonna speed over to this other place. Oh, hold on to I'm gonna speed over to this other place, get one of my husband's birthday gifts. His birthday is March 2nd. We are a family of Pisces and one Taurus. And um, I'm gonna speed over here and get one of his gifts. And then I think it's a um, Best Buy across the street from there too. And I might have to make a pit stop at DD's. Cause we don't have one by my house. But it's one right down the street from here. So, yeah, let's do that. I gotta get these papers notarized and sent off today. That's the only other pertinent thing I have to get done today is get these papers sent off today. So, side note. So, y'all, so, did y'all know that to go to New York, you have to be vaccinated? I didn't. I didn't know that like I was trying to plan my son's surprise birthday trip and now I'm gonna have to cancel it because you have to be vaccinated and my family is not vaccinated his friends are not vaccinated just ruined my whole plans he's turning 13 May 19th and that's the only thing he has asked for for his birthday was to go to New York and I am highly highly upset because I can't surprise my baby and take him to New York 13 he's turning 13 we all know turning 13 is a big deal 
and I wanted it to be special and now it's ruined due to COVID. I feel like we've been dealing with this two years now. I don't feel like it it should be like this. I should be able to go where the hell I want to go. Whether I want to get vaccinated or not. Like, as long as I have on a mask, okay, if y'all have a mandated mask rule, cool. I can respect that. I'm going to put my mask on and live my life with this mask on. But you, I just don't feel like I should be told, oh, I can't go do something I want to do because I don't want to get a particular shot. I, I just, I don't, mm -mm. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I don't feel like that's right. So now my baby's surprise is going to be ruined. So now I got to try to bring it up in conversation to find out somewhere else he wants to go. He kept saying Philadelphia. Like he keeps asking to go to Philadelphia. But like when I look it up, like what are we going to do in Philadelphia? Like really? What are, what are we doing in Philadelphia? Like we, we go on a trip like once a month. I'm going to be uploading those vlogs as well. I just got to edit them. That's why I need to get this um stuff done so i can edit faster but we um go on a trip once a month we just ask the kids hey where you want to go and they pick a place and i book the trip and we go um so we are trying to visit what is this light gonna turn or no we visit we're trying to visit all 50 states and then um go from there so we just printed out a map pick a place we go and mark it off the list that's what we do um but so far i think our favorite trip has been our trip to disney world that wasn't a trip based off state because i mean we're from florida so going to florida for disney world was not for state it was just because it's disney world um so i think that our disney world trip and puerto rico has been the best so far like this light is really not turning I think those have been the best too. And my husband wanna actually go back to Puerto Rico. I'm like, we can't we can't double deal. Especially not with the kids. I can see if it was just me and him going. But Puerto Rico was nice. We did all the excursions. We if Puerto Rico was nice. And we was at a really nice hotel, so we hung out at the pool. It was real cool. I'm, I'm going to need this light to change. Now, this is time foolery. I'm getting, I'm, y'all, y'all going to learn about me. I have zero patience. I have zero patience at all. Thank you. Good grief. Oh, yes. I have zero patience. Like, I, and I'll go from zero to 8,000 real quick. That's why I would say I'm so glad God has delivered me because I would show my behind. Like, I really would show my behind. But then when I became a mom, I calmed down. When I became a wife, I calmed down even more. My favorite cousin, my sister cousin, she always tells me that my husband turned me from a pit bull in a skirt to now I'm a poodle in, I'm a, poodle in a skirt. And I don't know about poodle. Like, can I be... Something else, I don't, I don't know about a poodle. A poodle, a poodle is a little, you know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe a chorky, because Cheerio is a chorky and he'll give you the business, baby, okay? He don't care nothing about how big you are. Dog, human, cat, get too close and you can catch these paws. Okay, he does not care. He does not discriminate on size, height, age, none of that. Now, when it comes to humans, though, he loves babies and little kids. He, he, he loves he loves them, but he'll give you the business. He don't care. Ask a couple of Amazon workers. <laughs> I'm so glad we ain't been sued. But anyway, I'm gonna get off of here and pay attention to this road. I'm about to. Oh, I ain't even put it in my GPS. Let me get off here with y'all. That's because my car is automatically going to Diddy's. Let me go to Diddy's first. Okay, bye y'all.
did I just spend a hundred? Let me turn it this way. How did I just spend a hundred and six eight dollars in DDs? And I don't even feel like I bought nothing. Like I really can't find anything in there. It has to be the shoes because each pair of shoes is like thirty five dollars a piece. Besides the little sample. But <laughs> That's a lot of money. But I'ma tell Jelly this is part of her birthday gift because her birthday is on March 18th. So, and mine is March 14th. So I'ma just tell her this is a part of her birthday gift. Some clothes. Because I just bought her a ton of clothes the other day. I just bought her a ton of clothes the other day. Plus she has some clothes in my trunk I need to send back to she in because they don't fit right. And I'm pretty sure we're going to send them out. I told her we was going to get a pair of matching sneakers. So now that we've figured out what size she wears in adults, now we have so many. But she loves when we match, so anything to see these little people smile. Because they didn't ask to do this, so I do my best to try to make them happy. And to raise them um, to have a childhood that they don't have to heal from. I mean, I know they're going to have their little stuff that they complain about, but it ain't got to be a lot. I ain't perfect and daddy ain't perfect either but at least they could be I mean cuz I feel like for me with my childhood of course there's some stuff I can complain about but for the most part I can't complain like for the most part I got what I wanted did stuff I mean, I, don't, I really can't complain. I really can't. I mean, I have some complaints, but my complaints compared to the most people that I know, my stuff is petty. My stuff is petty. I feel like for the most part, my parents did an all right job. For the most part. And, and I hope my kids grow up and can say the same because they don't want a need for nothing. Even when we didn't have or don't have, they don't know it. So they, my kids, like real life, legit think we rich. They really think that. They they really think money grows on trees. But I rather them think that than for them to feel like we poor and don't have nothing and ain't never gonna have nothing and you know. So hey. I feel like if they grow up thinking they rich, then hey, somebody did a good job doing something right. So, I ain't complaining. So, well, anyway, where I'm going to go get my husband's first gift from is actually three minutes away, which is five minutes from Best Buy. So, that's cool. And Dee Dee's was right there in the middle. So, I'm going to grab his little gift. Yeah, I'm going to grab his gift from here swing. Swing back by Best Buy and head back towards my side of town. Right now I am in Smyrna and I live in Douglasville. Both are suburbs of Atlanta. Oh, they just built a Chick-fil-A right there. I might need to stop and get me a frosted coffee and some french fries. That is not a part of my diet plan. They just waving me over there. Look at Chick fil A. I've been wanting some Chick fil A french fries with Polynesian. But then again, I am going to pass Krispy Kreme on the way home, and I want to stop there and get some donut holes because we don't have a Krispy Kreme anywhere close to my house. This is actually the closest Krispy Kreme to my house. 
and I wanted some donut holes. So I'm gonna skip Chick fil A and get me some donut holes. This is my song, y'all. Hey, hey, let me turn that down. But, um, oh, that man truck dirty. I thought my truck was dirty. Oof. But stay tuned. I'm about to go into Micro Center. Oh, while I'm in here, I can see if they have what I need that I was going to Best Buy for. And then I don't have to go to Best Buy. <sighs> Smart thinking, Ryan. Smart thinking. I'm in the store trying to sneak and get this man gift, and he is calling me. And I almost answered the phone on accident. I can't sneak and do nothing right. Y'all know I don't about had enough. Oh, well, first off, let me say, okay, so I got his first gift and I got the little device that I need for my computer. So now I don't have to go to Best Buy. And, but what I was going to say, so I am just, I'm just over everything concerning this pandemic, man. Because you just can't get anything that you're looking for, what you need. Nobody has materials. They don't have the, just everything is just MIA. So you know how I just said we were getting the floors um, redone in our house. So um, he goes to get the stuff to do our floors and they don't have the matching floors so that all the floors in the house can match. So now we got to get a whole nother color. That was, that's why my husband was calling and he was like um, it's a little lighter and, and but it's either that or we won't have to have it so we're going to have to do I'm um, sorry so we're going to have to go with floors lighter but luckily it's in the bedrooms and the bathroom but I'm Oh God, it's just so annoying. I want everything to match. <coughs> I'm just over this. I'm just over it. But I mean, we really don't have company anyway. And when we do, nobody's really going in our rooms except for when my son's little homeboys come over. They the only ones that ever come upstairs in our house, honestly. But I just want everything to match. So I'm just gonna, he said he left the sample at the house so I can see it when I get there. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act up right now until I see it. Cause hopefully it's not even a big deal. And um, I feel like this is taking me all out of the way to go to Chris Green. I was right by it. Where is it taking me? GPS will take you all around the Marlboro Bush for no reason. Oh, it's taking me to a different one. It's taking me to the other one. That ain't the one I was trying to go to. Whatever. I'm over here now. I need to stop and get another extension cord for my husband's arm. Um, for his um, music thing. He needs a super long multiple unit and I didn't want to get it out of my grocery because they was too high and I can get it out of Walmart cheaper so god it just annoyed me and then I need to take my butt in the house because I done spent too much money today to stop putting my hand right there in front of the um, camera. This thing brought me all the way to a totally different one that I wanted to go to. I, why am I way over here? Jeez Louise. Well I tell you with GPS you better know where you going already because you would be in 10 bucks too and you only needed to go one street over. It read three miles. Where, where is it taking me? Oh, 
can't spend any more money to day. But you know, when you pay bills, I feel like you should be able to treat yourself. So hey, I woke up this morning, I paid our bills. Now it's time to pay me. And then, you know, I gotta get ready for this man's birthday. So yeah, I'm gonna get home. The thing about it is, if I go ahead and get his stuff now, it's gonna come before his birthday, and he's potentially going to see it. But I could give him like one gift at a time, leading up to. Oh, here's a signing. Did I tell y'all I was a notary signer agent as well? I left that off when I was telling y'all about um, what I do for a living. The mama she got me with sex for the body place tonight. I just might take case VMA all over her body. The mama she got me switch up for tempo. The mama she got me. Y'all need to check that song out. That's my song. You hear me? It's called Tempo. Look it up on Spotify. I'm gonna put it in the um in the description box. Y'all check that song out. Dang, what they doing? Making the donuts from scratch? Y'all, please excuse me. I keep telling y'all I'm not a patient person. And yes, it did bring me to a totally different Krispy Kreme than, than the one I was trying to go to. One hour later. Where's my stuff? Oh. I've been sitting here too long. I don't even want it no more now. I done had time to sit here and think about these carbs and calories and sugars I'm about to consume. Now I'm like, hey, I don't, I don't even think I need it. I don't even think I need it. Let me change my mind. Good grief. Come on, man. Good grief, now. Nah. Yes, I'm that person that will sit at the drive-thru and just stare at you because you want to know where your stuff at. I'm that person. For real, for real. <laughs> I don't mean no harm. Hold on. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Have a good day. But I don't be rude though. Well, they can hear me. I try not to be. Let me see. Mm. Y'all, that's good. Okay, y'all. Let's taste this Twix donut. It's a mint. I got two minis. It looked like just a chocolate glazed donut that they sprinkle some crushed up Twix pieces on top of some the dust of a Twix. That's exactly what it is. Okay, this one look better. Y'all, this crap is way too sweet. Way too sweet. I do not do super sweet stuff. I'm up in the mid. Mm mm. This is too much for me. Let me say this for the little rascal. I can't do that. And no. Mm -mm. That's just entirely too sweet. My mom tastes like I just swallowed a bag of sugar. 
Don't you get over here and you see me trying to get over little old man. No offense. You should be happy to be old. You made it. <laughs> okay, where's my... Oh, I done missed my turn, y'all. Dang it. That just added on two minutes. Golly, that was sweet. I need some water. Ugh. I feel like I got diabetes, man. No, I need to go check my sugar. <clears throat> Woo! And then I'm gonna sit here and drink this doggone latte. Jeez. Uh, I can't. I can't with this sweet stuff like this. I ain't built like that no more. Mm -mm. I ain't a customer. Oh Lord. I gotta definitely take my man go seven tonight, cause it's big bad. <laughs> the way this waistline is set up, I can't be eating like this. Mm. Dang, that was my turn right there. Oh, this way faster. I need to pay attention, so I'ma I'm 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 talk to y'all later, cause I done missed my turn twice. Talking to y'all. So let me, I'm going to crank my music up. I got a 40 minute drive to get to my house. And I will check back in with y'all when I get home. Y'all, I almost forgot I gotta stop and renew my tag. I'm so annoyed. So I just stood in there, in that long behind line. I just stood in line to get renew my um tag. And, oh, I can't go out that way. Um, To renew my tag on my license plate. And then it tells me I have to get an admission set done. I'm like, why do I need to get an admission set done? My car is only two years old. Good grief. They just won't let me be great. They will not let me be great. And then I have two cars. So I got to renew. Well, I gave one of my cars to my son. Yes, the 12 year old. I have two of the exact same cars, just a newer model. Oh, here's an emissions place right here, $12, perfect. And um, so I gave him my other car and I told him he gotta pay for the emissions on there. But I'm gonna do it anyway, but I'm gonna keep hounding him about it just so he can feel like he has some responsibilities. Um, that's a whole nother story. We about that but i just don't understand what is the point of the admission somebody schooled me i don't know but i could have sworn i heard that they were getting rid of admission so i'm just so agitated about the fact that i gotta get an admission set. i just feel like it's just more money that i gotta constantly keep spending out shoot i want to keep my money in my pocket or spend it on what i want to spend it on shoot so now I gotta pay for two emissions and two tags. I don't think his car gonna pass emissions. I don't know, cause he need a, um, it, it's been running hot. And I need to take it to the shop. Lord have mercy, it's always something. So why, now I'm sitting in another line Waiting on the admission test. There's three cars ahead of me. I thought I was gonna go home, but let me go on and do this while I'm thinking about it. 
Cause you know it always sneak up on you. Next thing you know it's your birthday and your tag is fired. So let me go on and get it done in February before March even get here. So I'm just sitting here scanning my receipts into my fetch rewards. Cause I just want Amazon gift card. That last one I got, it really came in handy. Okay y'all, so, I finally got my, my tag removed. I'm gonna put it in my glove compartment. Okay, got that done. You know what? Being an adult is for the birds. Like, if I'd have known it was like this, baby, they could have kept this. They could have kept it. Now, the dude at the admissions place told me I need to go get my battery checked. He think my battery could be dying. So now I'm about to stop and go get that done. Jesus, I said I wasn't spending no more money today. I done spent another hundred dollars. Since I said that, since I got the donuts, I done spent another hundred dollars. And then if I go in here and these people say, oh yes ma'am, it's time for you to replace your battery. Then that's gonna be how much? Lord, look at this. It's so hard as an adult to save money, I feel like. Unless you're just never gonna buy yourself anything. Place, place. It looked like a junkyard. 